Hi there. Woods are lovely, dark and deep. But I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. Two roads diverge in a wood and I and I took the one less travelled by and that has made all the difference. Beloved friends, these are the words of one of the greatest American poet, Robert Frost. And this reflects and reveals the secret of my life. I believe in, I always believe in prospering by learning, meditating, contemplating, acting, making a habit. And with these thoughts to inspire all our beloved friends who are ready for greatness, success and cheerfulness, happiness, prosperity, peace, everything. I am there to share my every information what I learned daily in my life. Beloved friends, I have just recited two poems if by Rudyard Kipling and Desiderata by Max Herman. There have been seen that the great path to follow the ways to follow in life, to be happy and successful. And what the great Rudyard Kipling said, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you will be a man, my son, beloved friends. You will be a man. Man means all the world is for man to conquer and to rule. This is the glory of his life. But his laws are intringent. But its laws are very, very tough. You have to follow the schools to learn every basic manners and principle to be happy in life. The stringent rule, the acid test. Man is his own star and the soul that can render honest in a perfect man commands all light, all glory, all name and fame. Beloved friends, if you want to be such great powerful personality in life, then there is only one way to develop a positive mental attitude. The attitude is the thinking, optimistically, always in such a manner that is universally approved by all the great philosophers, thinkers, poets, prophets. And that thought has become the act of your life. That has become your habit, your behavior. And you are shaping your destiny. And you are saying you are the master of your fate. And you are the captain of your soul. By virtue of the fact that you have absolute control on your positive mental attitude of your life. Here I want to add some of the great optimistic creed of any great person, how they behaved and how they become great. Listen carefully. Make a lofty dreams of your life to become great. And so you have to make promises. So promise yourself to be so strong that nothing can disturb your peace of mind. Because the outward Forces have no power on you. If you don't allow me to interfere in your life, you have to reserve your everything inside. The happiness, joy, peace, they are all inside. Never expose yourself, never make yourself vulnerable to the external conditions and circumstances. You must maintain a very sound physical health. Your state of mind should be joy, peaceful, happiness. And always thinking of prosperity to yourself, to every person you meet daily in life. To make all your friends feel like there is something in them great. And you are seeing the best in them and never the worst and never criticizing anyone. You are appreciating the beauty everywhere. To look at sunny side of everything and make your optimism come true. To think only of the best, to work for the best and expect only the best. And beloved friends, 
Really you will realize if you think like that, because thoughts are things. Thoughts are things. Everything will bring its kind. To forget the mistakes of the past and press on the greatest advancement of the future, the achievements of the future, that is the capacity for applied faith. Look into the future, but be careful. Trust no future, however great and pleasant. Let the dead past bury with his dead. Act, act in the living present, heart within and God overhead. Present in your command. Think about how to make this present moment great by cultivating the great habits of great thoughts. To wear a cheerful countenance at all times and give every living person to meet a smile. Means, remember it, you get what you give. What you do to or for others, you do to for yourself. The law of compensation is universal, it always works. So if you want peace, joy, happiness, cheerfulness, share it with others and it will be much more multiplied and you will be really a person of such great gifts which you have given to others. Beloved friends, give so much time to the improvement of yourself that you have no time to criticize others. See the best in everyone, as Ralph Waldo Emerson said. See the best in everyone, appreciate beauty. That is success. Laugh often much. To win the respect of the intelligent people. To earn the appreciation of the honest critic. And endure the betrayals of the false friends. To appreciate beauty and see the best in others. That is very, very important, beloved friends. Because if you see the worst in others, that negative thought is in your mind and you will ruin your everything else. Because as you think, so you behave and act. So never think negative. Because that thought is in your mind, so you will be the first victims. Never think ill of others, never speak ill of others, never see bad things. Because that all is going to be beneficial to you alone. Because it is your mind which will have the effect on your body. Beloved friends, Develop such a great mind, too large for worry, too noble for anger, and too strong for fear, and too happy to permit the presence of trouble, because these are all states of mind. Your mind should be so clean, directed, control, and focus only on optimistic, positive things in life, and then you are happy. If you ask me how happy I am, I am as happy as the nature is, as the beautiful plants and trees are vibrating. So my enthusiastic, energetic mind is thrilled by the beautiful thoughts. Because always I think positive and I see everywhere happiness. Remember it. Little man, little mind have only worries. But any great man has only great thoughts in the mind which is bringing joy, peace, happiness, prosperity and success. So I am such kind of person who thinks on such things. And I never fear death. Death is inevitable. Only I fear I should not think negative. Beloved friends, think positive. Become a power of personality who controls his mind, who controls his thoughts. And you become the master power. And you mold your destiny your fate, being a power of intelligence and love, and the lord of your own thought. You possess the transforming and regenerative energy, an agency to make yourself what you want. And you have been gifted the key to every conditions and circumstances by virtue of the seed of thought you are sowing in your mind. So be very careful. You are what you think. And so think only positive optimistic thoughts and you become what you want to be. You achieve what you dream to be. You realize what you aspire to be. Your ideas, your ideals, your visions and prophecies will come true if you are really true to it 
are really passionate about it, obsessed about it, crazy about it, because these are all backed by your burning desire. And as you remember, Benjamin Disraeli said, everything will come to you if you are only ready for it and you have patience to wait for it. A human being with such a purpose must accomplish it. And nothing can resist the will which is ready to stake everything else for its fulfillment. Are you so much dedicated, committed and passionate? So much personal initiative, willpower and determination you are possessing? Who can stop you? None except yourself. There is no limitation to the power of your brain. It is only what you impose on it. But first start with a sound physical health and then maintain a sound mind in it that is a positive mental attitude. Optimism always says the glass is full, half with water and half with air. Nothing is empty, everything is prosperous, joyous. And say, I appropriate myself with the power to become what you want to be and what you desire to be. Because you are exercising creative energy and force. The Almighty Father, God is with you. So there is no space and scope for fear and doubt, hesitation, frustration. There is only positive mental attitude, optimism. You only look what you want in life and you never think what you don't want in life. You are attracting what you want. And remember what Ralph Waldo Emerson said. Once you decide any great things in life, the universe will conspire to make it happen. So, beloved friends, your thought in the mind has made you, and the thought in the mind will only make you. So, have the thought of positive mental attitude, the optimistic creed, breathe in it, live with it, eat with it, sleep with it, and you will be. A man, my son, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you are a great man, successful man, happiest man. Beloved friends, then what I will do? I will really be happy and laughing because my old friends are so happy. That is only the prime duty of my life, to see you happy. Will you be a cheer? Be cheerful. I strive to be happy. A smile. Thank you.